let me just, you know, wake y'all up to this little trending, this little trending thing that's going on right now with this boots, with the these with these red boots that's going on out here in the world that got everybody losing their mind about, everybody posting on Facebook, everybody doing all that. But let me just talk about it and wake y'all up. If you didn't, if you didn't know this, see, you got these people coming up with all these trends. Do you ever just sit back and think about who really made these? Who started this? They don't never when these when these little trending topics come out. They don't never show the person face who started it. They don't never show the person who created this stuff. These shoes, these clothing brands, this all this other stuff. They don't never show these people faces. I might see, you know, growing up, I might see these little viral dances. You know, you, you might see their faces because they be on their platform doing the dance. Like they started it and stuff. But when it comes to all this, all this stuff today. These new dances, these new clothes and shoes, and all this, these, these memes and stuff, you don't never see these people's faces. Why not? Why not? Because they they already know that people are gonna be looking like some fools out here doing this stuff. Now I'm making this video. This, this ain't gonna be a long video, probably like 10 minutes or something like that. But this little trending topic right now with these red boots, y'all, it's really getting out of hand now with all this stuff that they they creating, and these people out here acting acting stupid over, spending all their hard earned working money on stuff like this, just to fit in, just to get some likes and views and stuff, just to get all this stuff, just just for somebody to give them a compliment. Let me tell you something: you ain't getting no no compliment. From wearing those those red foolish looking racist boots, you ain't getting no compliment from that. Cause let me tell you something, newsflash, uh, ladies, if you're you're wearing them, you're you're not cute. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might I might hurt somebody's feelings because their their favorite celebrity probably got a pair of them. You ain't cute by wearing them. Fellas, if you're wearing them, you're not cool. You're not cool about wearing this, these, wearing those, those red boots. It ain't nothing cool about wearing that that crap. You looking foolish. I mean, like, I'm just, I'm just gonna tell you the truth. These people out here looking stupid wearing these boots. If you don't recognize, pretty sure somebody had recognized it, but. They just still gonna wear them because they wanna they wanna fit in with the world. They wanna fit in. But if you don't if you don't realize now, and now and I'm not saying this because you know to fit in with the world, just because you buying you buying some shoes and clothes, you fit in with the world. No, because if I'm not saying that because if it's some nice Jordans that came out, I'm gonna definitely buy them if I like them. If I like them, doesn't mean that I'm worldly. But I'm talking about stuff like this. With these these red boots, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go online or go on Google or go on Facebook, and you're gonna see them on there with these people wearing these red boots. But this stuff is is getting out of hand. You want these people want want to fit in with the world so bad, to the point to make themselves look 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 foolish and and don't even care because they know that people are gonna give them some likes. But if you haven't recognized why I say that they're foolish, I mean, I mean, why I said that they're racist. If you don't recognize that, um, see, these people who come up with these these clothing brands and stuff and make them so expensive, those boots cost three hundred fifty dollars. They cost three hundred and fifty dollars. And when you think about it. 
most of these people who and i'm not racist but i'm making a point if you if you think i'm racist then a hey, sorry that you feel that way well i'm not sorry but you can feel that way if you want to but i'm not racist um mostly white people come out with this type of stuff and make it so expensive and guess what they know that people are going to buy it. That's why. And they profiting a lot of money off of it. It goes to show you that you can make anything nowadays and people will start doing it. You could walk around with... You could probably make some fake shoes. Probably... I know they got plastic bags on shoes already from not walking in the mud. But you could probably walk barefoot in, in some plastic bags and people are going to start doing it. Come on now, you could put some, you could not even wear no no shoes at all and just wear the shoelaces around around your toes and, and around your feet and people are going to start doing it. But see, it's, it's racist because do you not realize that though, what those, those boots actually look like? Do you not realize who's really the ones out here that's really wearing them? You don't really see white people wearing them shoes. You might see some. But when I go online, I'm seeing a majority of my race of people wearing these red boots. Looking stupid. I see my race of people wearing these red boots. Come on now. They know they know us black people. That's what y'all want to call yourselves and stuff. And some people going to get mad because, hey, man, you're black. You need to call yourself black. This is what is it? No, you you accept that. Don't try to get me to accept black. You accept black. That's your life. That's what you want to uh, accept. But they got. It's mostly of us, uh, my race of people, out here buying these red boots. Do you not realize where these boots came from? What these boots actually look like? I'm pretty sure y'all seen Dora the Explorer, haven't you? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure you seen you seen boots in uh Dora the Explorer. Those are the same exact boots. The same exact boots. Think about it. They're, these people made these boots because they know that black people gon' gonna buy them. They see they see what what us what what we're we're buying anyway. They see that most of us most of black people are out here want to stay in the in, on the uh, trending topics want to want to fit in so bad. But just pay attention to that. And what they call us monkeys already. They call us monkeys already. Think about that. So look at this. They make those boots. And they got black people wearing them. Look like boots from, from Dora. Even though he's not that color in Dora, but he's still a monkey. And they call that's what they call us. They these people they they call they call black people dirty, monkeys, filthy. Think about that. And, and, and you got these people out here buying them. Looking foolish. Just looking so foolish. And don't realize what they're doing. And when you and when you buy them, and you 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 buy, you pay almost four hundred dollars for them little little ugly boots, and then you go to the mall or wherever you shop at. And you go and get an outfit to match it. Put your little chains on. You know, put your little fake wigs on. Put your Ronald McDonald makeup. Uh, uh oh, somebody in their feelings. Somebody, somebody mad right now. Somebody mad at me. Put your little makeup on. And and you you go on. You get your homeboys or your homegirls to take a picture of you, thinking that you're looking cute in them. When the whole time you post on, on you post online, especially for celebrities. 
because a lot of celebrities, majority of celebrities are buying them. And you, you post your picture online and it, the white people sit back and just, and just cracking up at you. They laugh and they butt off at you. Why? Because you, you, they, they like, look at them. They don't even see what's going on. Look at them. They, they actually buying these boots. We, we created them and they, they actually buying them. Looking like, looking like boots from Dora. Just fulfilling what they, what these, these people actually want to happen. It's to make you look foolish. Wake up, y'all. They calling us, they, they calling you monkeys. Those are the same exact boots from Dora the Explorer. The same exact boots. But they just recreated them, try to make them look a little different. Try to make them look a little higher. But those are the same boots. Wake up, black people. If y'all haven't woke up and noticed already. But once again, like I said in, in the beginning of the video, I feel like a lot of people already see what's going on. But... They still going to do it because, hey, I got to, I got to fit in with the world. I got to, I, I think I look cool or, or, or cute in them. I want some likes and stuff. I want to be different. I want to, I want to be different. That, that's y'all way of being different. See, this is, this is what some people say that they're set apart as. Some people say that they're, they're actually want to be different. I have a different style. So they go out and wear stuff like this. Now Kanye, I can see Kanye style. I like Kanye style because Kanye style is different. But I never seen Kanye wearing these boots though. I ain't never. Or if, if he have somebody show me where where he he wearing them at because I ain't never seen him wearing them. Just just think about that. You you wearing these boots? Kanye Kanye smarter than that. Now, Kanye is, is, is a smart dude. A lot of people don't like him, but Kanye is a smart dude, and he see what's going on. These boots are racist. They're being racist. But yet, these people are going out here, these, especially these celebrities, who, who are already being controlled by, by the industry, who are already being controlled by Satan. Uh-oh. Because Satan is running the, the uh, music industry. He really is running the music industry. He been doing it. And he gonna forever. He gonna forever run the industry. But see, it's so sad because this world is so racist. Racism ain't never gonna leave. Don't matter how many people, what what people do, what people march and say. Racism ain't going away. It ain't never going away. It's gonna forever be here, and this and and what y'all keep on giving these giving these racist people entertainment by wearing their stuff. They're, they're gonna to continue to laugh at you because they're like, look, we they we they made some again, and they they fell for it. But just think about that. Like I said, just 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 think about it. Those boots. Are the same boots from Dora the Explorer, and you got black people wearing them, and they're calling you monkeys. They're calling, they're calling you monkeys. But do what you do. Your your favorite celebrity going going to do what they do, and. It ain't it ain't no point. You know, it ain't it ain't no point to really keep trying to trying to expose this stuff because people gonna listen to it, they're gonna see it, they're gonna brush it off, and they're gonna keep going and and uh wearing all this stuff. They're gonna keep trying to fit in with the world and call themselves different, a different style. That's not a different style. That's you being a puppet. That's you you're you're a puppet. To Satan, because first of all, you you're already making demonic music. You you are they're already making demonic music. They're already dressing what the industry want them to dress like, and that's show so revealing, 
show their, their titties and their butt all out. And they're, they're dressing like that already. They want them to uh, wear this, wear these costumes and stuff. Uh, wear these these uh, symbols on them. Get these these tattoo sim uh, symbols on them. Illuminati symbols. Have these demonic parties. All this weird gay stuff going on at these parties. Uh, you know, you you got all these people overdosing on drugs because that's what the industry the industry is promoting is for people to be on drugs and stuff. So it's going to keep happening. They're they're puppets being used by Satan, and the way that they can be used by Satan is Satan's people and the higher ups, the ones that you don't see, you don't see their faces at all. All on the ones that you see is their puppets out here doing their work for them. It's like a it's it's like a job, a super, uh, a, a boss. He has his own company and stuff, his, his own business, but he need people working for him. And look, that's what Satan do. He got his own people working for him, the higher ups who you don't see at all. You, he got them working for him, and he got they got people under them also. Wake up, y'all! Like, comment, subscribe.